10 Things to Do in Barcelona Barcelona is famed for its art and architecture. It is the cosmopolitan capital of Spain's Catalonia province. Other modernist landmarks include the spectacular Sagrada Familia Church. Have you put Barcelona on your list of places to visit in 2021? If you have, you have made the right decision. If not, please do so because it has something for everyone. Barcelona's to-do list is as long as its sunny days, ranging from gaudy to messy, from a towering arch to people-built skyscrapers, from visiting the sea to gorging on food. It's a city that perfectly blends medieval history with cutting-edge technology. So how much did it really cost? Consider this a condensed list of attractions, the ultimate guide to what to see and do in Barcelona for the savvy visitor. Beautiful art, iconic parks, performing art spaces, and much more may be found here. Join us on a quick adventure to see the 10 things to do in Barcelona. Please like, share, and subscribe to Grace Media before we begin the countdown. 10. Los Rambla it doesn't matter that many locals avoid the promenades that run from Placa de Catalunya to the Columbus Monument on the harbor. If you're a tourist, I'm sure you'll like completing these activities. In the summer, you'll be walking through the crowds, past living statues, street entertainers, bird sellers, and flower stands, beneath the shade of the tell plain trees. Once you've reached the water, you can continue along the boardwalk to the Mermega Mall or the Aquarium of Barcelona. One of the city's primary tourist attractions is this crowded thoroughfare. So much so that if you're visiting this country, you'll almost certainly wind yourself here. Los Ramblas is a pedestrian-friendly walkway in the heart of the city. So anticipate it to be crowded at all hours of the day and night. During the day, you can browse souvenir booths, watch buskers and street entertainers, purchase local art from street vendors, or sit down and enjoy a light snack at one of the numerous alfresco cafes. When the sun goes down, come here to start your night out, as there are numerous bars and clubs in the vicinity. While Los Ramblas has undoubtedly established itself as a tourist destination, it did not always appeal to visitors in the same way that it does now. The roughly mile-long thoroughfare became a favorite hangout for locals soon after it was built in 1766. The reason for this is due to the way it was designed. Back in the day, Barcelona's streets were mostly small and winding, making the long and wide Los Ramblas unusually spacious. 9. Sangrada Familia In Tony Gaudi, a Catalan art nouveau genius, dedicated himself to the construction of La Sangrada family, a tall Gothic style with a twist church, from 1882 until his death in 1926. Gaudi was noted for declaring, My customer is not in a rush, even when he couldn't finish. The church, which was built with private donations, is still being built today and is expected to be finished in 2026. This structure is regarded not only as Gaudi's most well-known, but also his best. This church wasn't always Gaudi, believe it or not. After a disagreement with the chapel's promoters, the architect who was originally commissioned to design the church was replaced. Even if you are not very interested in buildings, you will undoubtedly find that this chapel is unlike any other Gaudi creation and is a visual feast rich of symbolism. Gaudi's major purpose with the Sangrada Familia was to use architecture to teach people about Catholicism. The greatest place to see this is directly outside the church, where there are odes strewn everywhere. The Twelve Apostles are represented by the Four Towers, and the beautifully carved facades at the base depict Christ's life, from his birth to his death and resurrection. The smooth, virtually white stone columns and rows of bright stained glass windows are just as remarkable on the inside. Monumental or Verdiger are the closest metro stations of La Sangrada Familia. You can walk around the outside of the church for free, but you'll have to pay 15 euros, about $17.50, to go inside and explore. The church is open year-round from 9 a.m. daily, however the closing hours change depending on the season. Keep in mind that there is a dress code in effect at the church. 8. Casa Batlo The attention to detail at Casa Batlo exemplifies the work of renowned Catalan architect Antoni Gaudi. This is possibly the most well-known of all the Gaudi apartments in Barcelona. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Casa Batlo, which is located across the street from Casa Mila, is known for its vibrant colors, intricate tile work, and skeletal terraces. 
The unusual facade is based on the tale of St. George, who is known for fighting a dragon in order to save a princess. The scaly back of the dragon is depicted on the roof, while the skeletal balconies and bony windows are claimed to represent the dragon's former victims. Tradition has it that someone is sacrificed every day so the dragon doesn't capture the entire town. Stop inside to visit the equally eye-catching interiors, including the noble floor, which was previously home to the Batlow family. After you've taken in the huge amount of detail employed on the building's exterior, you can also reach the roof with your ticket to see Gaudi's impressive mosaic work up close, including the mosaics on the dragon's back and the roof's many multicolored chimneys. 7. Casamila Casa Mila, also known as La Pedra because the front of the building resembles the face of a quarry, was finished in 1912 and is another iconic Gaudi structure. It was the fourth and final Gaudi building on Passig de Gracia, and it is one of numerous UNESCO-listed Catalan modernist works. Modern improvements, such as the self-supporting stone facade and subterranean parking garage, will appeal to architects. It was built as a family residence for businessman Pierre Mila I Camps, with apartments for rent on the top levels. The harmony between the building's design and Casa Mila's furnishings is breathtaking, and it all dates from when Gaudi was at the peak of his game. 6. City Beaches The coastal boardwalk in Barcelona spans for kilometers. Walking from Barcelona to, to Diagonal Mar takes around an hour, but it's a walk that will really help you grasp the city. The livelier and more touristy beaches, such as Sant Sebastià, are backed by Barcelona's tight mesh of chic shops and bars with terraces and outdoor seating. After the Olympic port, you'll discover a bit more space and more Barcelona natives as you go along the waterfront. Finally, just a short distance from Plaça de Levin is the vast and brand new Diagonal Mar Mall, which is helping to revitalize a once industrial area of the city. 5. La Baquiria. This is both a famous site and an instructive experience. La Baquiria Market has existed in Barcelona since the Middle Ages, however its particular location has only been used for around 200 years. In 1914, the exquisite and unusual iron and glass roof you'll see was installed. It's a genuine eye-opener, whether you're looking for food or just want to take in the sights and sounds of a bustling metropolitan market. It's a grid of permanent stalls offering fruits, vegetables, cold meats, cheese and olives, among other things. The entire market converges in the center around an oval design of fishmongers. At one of the market's bars, unwind with a beer and a tapa. 3. Park Gel this site is nearly surreal, with spiral towers that seem like fairground slides and Barcelona's famed mosaic lizard, which has been featured on a thousand postcards. Entrepreneur Yusubai Gel, thus the park's name, and Antoni Gaudi collaborated to create the city's grandest park. It's critical to be aware of your ticket alternatives. You can go inside the park for free, but not to the great portions. A monumental cove ticket is required for this, Know that you must book in advance online and attend on time for your scheduled appointment. There is no wiggle space with scheduling. 2. Camp Nou There are two measures of the significance of FC Barcelona in the city. One is the abundance of counterfeit Lionel Messi shirts, the club's godlike striker on the market. The second factor is the size of the Camp Nou, the club's home stadium. It is the largest in Europe, with a capacity of 99,354 people and a plan in place to increase it to 105,000. Season ticket holders own all seats, which they subsequently sell to the general public if they are unable to attend. Don't worry, it only means that, especially against lower league opponents and 72 to 48 hours before a match, there's generally a significant chunk accessible. While Barcelona's home matches in La Liga, the Spanish Soccer League are currently taking place behind closed doors. Tours of the stadium and the FC Barcelona Museum are still available. View Messi's trophies, the player's tunnel, and the bench of the first team. 1. Picasso Museum 
Picasso, who went to Barcelona as a 14-year-old youngster and returned frequently during his life, deserved a museum sprawled across five palaces. A courtyard and Gothic archways lead to white studios that illuminate his paintings on the lower level. The rooms upstairs are extravagant, with massive painted ceilings that almost drip with crystal chandeliers. Visitors come to view Picasso's paintings, but it's the unique environment that keeps them coming back. If you're hoping to see Picasso's big guns, you might be disappointed, at least for a few moments. Guernica is housed in Madrid's Reina Sofia Museum, while the Weeping Woman is housed in London's State Modern. Everything in Barcelona's museum revolves around those postcard photos. It depicts every brushstroke, all 4,251 works, of how he progressed from a classically trained painter. Cishan C.O.Y. carried out in Room 3 to a Cubist pioneer, as well as those things we didn't know he did, such ceramics in chronological order. This season, fairs, concerts from the sun's denatal cycle, the Christmas festival in Placa de Catalunya, parades, nativity scenes, and much more are available in all of Barcelona's neighborhoods and districts. Learn everything there is to know about it and enjoy the city's celebrations and attractions. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on your notifications for more interesting travel guides.